And welcome to Unbeatable, your British Basketball League highlight show. I'm Tahir Hadja, and this is the place to catch all of the action from across the league. With just two weeks left in the championship and the eight playoff teams locked in, every game from now is about securing the highest seeding possible to gain the best chance of progressing to the playoff final. We begin this week in Sheffield with the Caledonia Gladiators' visit on a five-game winning streak. Can the Sharks break that streak? Welcome to the Shark Tank. No mercy is shown to those who visit. Hunting in packs, defend and attack, dead eyes and ruthless. The last time the gladiators swam in these waters, they got torn apart. So they got a bigger boat. Quade Green. Quade Green. Quade Green. What a move that is by Green. That is poetry in motion. I'm not catching fades anymore. Gotta keep my hands clean when they come for the ball. Keep it smooth like a dawn, making moves in the dark. Cause I learned how to swim in the pool for the sharks. Quade Green for three. Just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water, he is deadly with him running on the floor. No one is safe. That's cash money. The Sheffield Sharks versus the Caledonia Gladiators. Be careful where you swim. Your commentators are Todd Harris and Azania Stewart. Clifton Moore Jr. keeps it alive for Quade to bury his first bucket of three. Well, that's the problem now. Atiba Lyons is, he wants to have a word with the officials. Yeah. And Atiba Lyons is still not happy about it with the officials. He's got to compose himself because he has been teed and he's he's worth nothing in the locker room if he gets a second tee and he's still going for it, Todd. So it is official, Atiba Lyons has been ejected with 4.20 to play in the first. He didn't even make it six minutes. Patrick Whelan takes a long range three from Edinburgh and buries it. Nice kick to the outside and finds a wide open Jalen Pipkins who needed that. So another opportunity for Sheffield to cut it to one or pull even. Nice drive to the lane, strong move. It looks like Sheffield has made Caledonia a little bit one dimensional as CMJ writes the ship. Five seconds to play now. He's going to take it one on one. Prentice Nixon holds in the air, and of course, Quade Green gets it to drop as the horn sounds. Quade Green loses the handle, and now the Sharks are off and running. And look at this. Sharks have got themselves a nice little run going, and the fans are back into it. So the guards will do battle for the remainder of this third. Nice drive down the lane. Well done and well executed for Jalen Pipkins. Remember, Drew Lasker talked about him kike in a new role for the squad off the bench, and another opportunity, and he'll throw it down again. Baldwin. Shot clock at three. Johnson's going to have to rush this one. And hits. Trying to maximize everyone. Beautiful pass to the inside. And here come the Sharks looking to raise it up. Ramsey, Adelrock, and the foul. Bothwell races out in front. Easy Wonderful. layup up and off the glass. Wonderful move, Bothwell. Prentice Nixon out and running. He's got his running mate there, and it's a nice, easy skip pass as he finds RJ Adelrock. And Sheffield get it done at home, Todd. The Sheffield Sharks defend their home court here at Cannon Medical Arena. We head to Plymouth now, where even though they are out of the play of contention, the Pats have shown some decent form. With three wins in the series already, the Cheshire Phoenix are looking to complete the sweep. Calling this matchup is Joel Osborne and Graham Hiscock. Chagua, oh, nice pass into Aaron Wright. Easy finish for him in the end. Oh, backdoor jam, and Wiley throws it down. 
in that out dribble, all the way to the bucket, off the glass and in. Quincy Riddo, he's got every move going. Still with that wood, shot clock winding down and he puts it in as the shot clock expires. Oh, it's stolen by Riddo. Here's Maceo Jack. You are cleared for takeoff. Back to Holden, shot clock down to five. All the way to the basket, nice move. Here's Green for his first three of the game and strings it from yeah. downtown. Atwood goes past Rye, pulls up for three, drains the three on the buzzer, knocks it down. The shot clock's winding down here. Joe Hart has to shoot, drains it. And Plymouth City Patriots, their first lead of the game. Aaron Rye, corner three ball in transition, knocks it down. Stevens fakes the three, takes the three, makes the three. Skip pass to Jack, another three ball on the way, why not? And Maceo Jack's on fire. Stolen away and Kristen jams it in with two hands. Well, Terrell Green responds with a triple. Here's Cam Copeland, nice pass. And jammed in by Jacob Wiley. The big three from uh, Terrell Green to get this fourth quarter underway. Kristen will fire one up from downtown and he strings it. Drives right into a double team, kicks it out. Greg Wilds wide open for three. And the bench love it. White looking to go back door, puts it up and in. And that will do it. Cheshire Phoenix return to winning ways. 112 to 80 over the Plymouth City Patriots. Looking to secure fourth spot and home court advantage for the playoffs is the Newcastle Eagles. They host the Bristol Flyers who are in a heated battle for seventh, a must-win game for both teams. Your commentators are Dan Routledge and Obi Soko. Here's Johnson, steps back top of the key. Oh, oh tough shot from JJ. Levi Bradley, too much needed points, but splash three for Taj Green. It's at this end of the floor that Bristol are struggling. Can Bradley get to? Not quite. Out to Orlison, lines up the triple, splashes out. They needed it. Wasting no time. Orlison knocking it loose, running the floor. That's what he does so effectively. Kicked forward. Well, they had numbers for a moment. Here's Keedy Johnson taking it hard to the rim through the contact. That basket will count. Nice follow and jammed in, there's Johnson again, a word or two for the Eagles defenders. Newcastle are trying to pressure them. Well, they didn't get out to Ollison quick enough, and that's his third three-pointer of the game. Green keeps the ball for himself, drives along, kicks to Johnson in the court, and Jordan Johnson hits his second three of the game. Jordan Johnson driving hard to the hole, that drops. It's incredible. There he is again, taking it right into the chest. It's the lack of movement, the lack of movement. That's, that's the problem I have. Great shot. Okay, Tio, what do I know? Here on that right side. Well, Delpesh in the corner for three. Oh, He's my banked goodness. It. He has banked it. Big time shot. Gill was too far under there. And it's run back and laid in, Tough. and out of nowhere, Bristol have tied the scores. Dawson gets the rebound, it has to go up here. Defoe needs to shoot, it gets it away in time, and Darius Defoe beats the buzzer. Well, Johnson creates some space for the three, and he knocks it's it down. Time. Johnson driving in, bump foul, oh, what a finish! Katie Johnson! But a great comeback from the Bristol Flyers with a monster fourth quarter. They scored 37 points in the last 10 minutes.
Let's keep rolling and we're with the top seed, the London Lions. They hit the road and head southwest to play the Plymouth City Patriots, who shot the league with a win in their first game back in November. Taking you through this one is Joel Osborne and Graham Hiscock. Ball into Morgan. Got a mismatch with Hart on him. Fadeaway jumper, tough jump shot. Hart, round the back pass. Wiley from the elbow, strings it. Matt Morgan pushing, finds Phillip. Beautiful transition basketball, and it results in a Tariq Phillip layup. Another three ball on the way for Plymouth, and this time it's good from Terrell Green. Atwood going to the bucket. Oh, what a block! <laughs> But Atwood ends up with it. Fadeaway jumper is good. Nice pass. Oh, oh, what a block. oh my gosh. Incredible. And London turning defense into offense as Morgan lays it up and in. Just under a minute and a half to go in this first half. Nice pass. And Luke Nelson cutting back door, lays it in for two. Dusha coming off the screen. Nice pass and jammed in by Jacob Wiley. <laughs> Shot clock is turned off, final 10 seconds of the first half. Nelson to the basket, jammed in on the follow by Josh Sharma. First field goal of the second half for Plymouth, as uh, London respond with a triple at the other end. Nelson, oh, nice pass inside, extra pass to Josh Sharma who flushes it home. Yeah, beautiful play. Kick out to Caboza in the corner, puts it on the floor. Dusha almost got caught there, was reaching in, and oh, count it, and the foul. Plymouth can push. Copeland, pull up three, drains it. Nice pass, and it's jammed in by Wiley. Three-pointer on the way, no good. Josh Sharma does well to recycle the possession. Oh, what a pass, and Uday finishes. Hart takes a bump from Uday. Copeland fakes it. Oh, Copeland, two-handed hammer. And Caboza brings it up over the timeline. The buzzer sounds, and London Lions, a big win for them on the road. They pick up their 15th straight win in the British Basketball League in a game that saw the whole rotation get in on the action. The games are coming in thick and fast in the penultimate round of the regular season. Coming up, we have the Bristol Flyers hosting the Manchester Giants. But first, after a defeat at home to Bristol earlier on in the week, the Newcastle Eagles travel to the Surrey Scorchers. Your commentators for both are Dan Routledge and Ant Rowe. Gooden with a little slip as well. He fires up the triple. First made three of the game for Surrey. Here's Johnson. He knocks down Newcastle's first triple of the game. Second quarter, Delpesh spinning and pulling the rim down. Great move there. Lobbed up to Jameson, who jams it in. Wow, easy as they come. Orchestrates the offense. Nice pass. Oh, and jammed in by Delpesh. Steal down to uh, Jameson, who went maybe a little quicker than he needed to. Wang has it. Lawrence. Into the key, and finally gets the scoreboard ticking for Surrey. Wow. Oh, Lawrence through the contact with one on the shot clock. The drive and kick, Whitfield relocates for three, and he hits. He's done really well there. Austin drops it off to Defoe, who gets up for the throwdown. Wow. Lawrence stumbles, still gets the pass to Ogun Dengby. Foul. And one! He struggled as well, shooting-wise. Nice pass! And Jameson jams it in. McGill driving hard through the contact. And one for Ricky McGill. Gooden for three. Oh! Cam Gooden to stretch the lead out to 13. Quick outlet and not finished by Austin. Oh my goodness. And a foul on the. Everybody's up here. I think Newcastle wanted a goal turn. Sorry, are happy. There's a technical foul called, I think, against Austin. There's another technical foul called. 
There's another table cry. I think he's been disqualified. Coach Stutel is going wild on the sidelines, and I think he's been given two tees in the process. Wow. Oh, he's absolutely livid, Coach Stutel. He's got to go all the way past all the fans who are more than happy to wave him off. Now the shot clock being counted down by the fans. Wang drives in, tosses it up high and in off the glass. That will do it. The Surrey Scorchers have beaten the Newcastle Eagles, and you can see the reaction from the fans. They've really enjoyed that. Look at the that. The front row are going wild. <laughs>Back out to Bradley. You don't want to sag too far of him. No, lovely ball movement by the Flyers for two. Great placements there. Lewis finds a little seam in the defence and lays it in for two. Stolen away. Jacob off to the races and will jam it in. Well, that's one way of putting it. As Robertin rocks the rim. Lewis. Throws it all the way back up to Lee. Oh, man, slips. Lee knocks down the three. Wow, William Lee. Jacob trying to drop it off. No room, but enough room for Thomas Edward. Stolen away by Smith, who is almost given to him. Orlison. There we go. That's more like it. Drop down to uh, Roberton, who throws it down. Lobbed in. Oh, too high. And uh, slowing it down and running it back in. That one's passed straight to Lewis. It oh, volleyball spike from Johnson chasing it back. Olison continues to pile on the agony. Incredible. For this game, they're not going to make it all the way back and win, but just trying to get something going. Oh, oh my got goodness! Got a three-quarter court heave. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's got them on their feet here. And here's Jacob from just inside the halfway line on the third quarter buzzer. What a way to end the period. Lee. Strings the triple. They haven't made too many threes here today, uh, Manchester. That's just their fourth. Lawton's going to get the final shot of the game, and that will do it. The Bristol Flyers, very comfortable indeed. Took them a few minutes to get going, but once they did, they were over the hill and far away. Have won this game by 20 points. Up next, we have a huge matchup with the Sheffield Sharks hosting the Cheshire Phoenix. This is one of Cheshire's toughest remaining games in their quest to secure second place. Your commentators for this one are myself, Tahir Hadja, alongside Azania Stewart. Scarlet White giving Bennett Cook plenty of room on the three point line as he seals inside, though. Bennett Cook to the right hand and one. In and out pass from Devell Ramsey finds Ito Rock. Beautiful pass inside to Green as well, and one. Wasn't too far off, LeQuincy Rideau yet to get going, and finally, puts the ball in the bucket. A nice work there from Del Pesce, no hesitation with the power dribble, gave him space. Yeah. Jalen Pipkins attacking the baseline, take off, come on. Wow. Maceo Jack, corner triple, it's nice. Le Quincy Rideau holds the ball high, one-on-one. -on -one. Le Quincy Rideau, exactly what he does. Is... And that's great work there from Shagwa to find the ball in the hands of Rideau, but it's turned over. Kipper Nichols for two. He's going to try and find room for three here. The pump tipped in. Holden on the buzzer. It's good. Shagwa, one-on-one. -on -one. There's that matchup we spoke about. And Ethan Shagwa, another triple for him as well. Up top to Ramsey, 10 seconds on the shot clock, he's going, and one there, Devel Ramsey. Green one-on-one -on -one with Rideau, who tries to pick his pocket, but Green weaves his way through the defenders. Here is Del Pace rising to the rim. Maceo Jack stepping back for the three, and why not? He is on fire this afternoon. 
What a pass that is from Rideau. That's a touchdown dime to find Ethan Shagwa. What? An unconventional pass that is, but it doesn't matter because it's another assist. Cam Christen for the triple. Malik Green going all the way, and one that's tough. Here's Nixon, pull up triple, big time. Now for the Sheffield Sharks, what can they do here? Malik Green battling his way to the bucket off the glass, gets the offensive rebound, up again, another offensive ball, and and one play will eventually fall for Malik Green. Deval Ramsey pulling up for three, no good. And that is the ball game. The Cheshire Phoenix take victory against the Sheffield Sharks, 92 to 99. Closing this round, we are headed to Scotland where the Caledonia Gladiators play the Plymouth City Patriots. But first, we caught up with Gladiators' man of the moment, Q Money, here's Quade Green. What, the nickname they call me Q Money? <laughs> Well, the fans that brought the money up to me after the uh, Newcastle game was pretty much the fans that came up with the name. Claddy, money, money green, we just had a bit of a laugh. When we were going down to Newcastle, there were some youngsters on the bus who'd never been to games, so we made up some fake money with Claddy's image on it. So that it's when he scored the first points, uh, the kids threw them in the air and going every time he, he scored a basket. We have a connection with the fans, just, just me just being me, really just being quite agreeing at who I am on and off the court. So at the gates with the fans as much as possible, they bring the momentum to us, even if it's home or away. He has made a massive impact on the team. You, you can feel the excitement and the electricity in the venue when he gets the ball, because I mean, I don't know if he knows what he's going to do, but we have no idea. He just takes that ball and he runs with it. I know I came here late to the team, but they just walked with me with open arms. See, the team was already in second place before I even got here, so I just added on to what the team already have and what the team goals is. Always gonna have the bragging rights of being number one, really, being a top dog. My mindset of it is being a top dog at all costs. That's a straight up Philly move right there. Come on, how does he do that? That's Quad Green goes to work again. Your commentators for this one are myself, Tahir Hajat, and Azania Stewart. Joe Hart, big triple in the corner. Down low, Clifton Moore Jr. And one play there for CMJ. Dusha finds Levi. Nice ball movement there from the Patriots. TJ Atwood finishing. Hart is fouled. He'll knock down the three. Dusha as he rolls off of it and into the wall of Princeton on West. Outward again for two. Polizza, ball forward. Whelan, don't jump. There's the finish for two. Hart, the bounce pass to Levi to the right hand, and it's good to go. Pretty offense. Clock winding down. Green for three. Outward. Bounce pass, Copeland rocking the rims. For the, oh my goodness, out of nowhere, Cam Copeland. Inside, Dusha, foul and one. LVC Dusha finishes at the rim. Three on the buzzer, it's good. Hart, catch and shoot. Up oh. the glass, fundamentals, <laughs> internet banking on a Sunday. There we go, that's the only thing that's open on a Sunday. And they've just managed to stick around and get themselves in the game. LVC Dusha with the three! One point ball game now. They've got numbers, push the ball, Caledonia. Clifton yeah. Moore Jr. rising up over the rim, throwing it down for two. Oh, Paliza dropping Levi, making the shot. Ankle breaker. It just about keeps it alive. Sweeney is open, though, but Clifton Moore Jr. selfishly gives us a highlight. Atwood off the dribble. Nice pass from Atwood. Levi finishes for two. 96 to 81 will be the final score, despite a valiant performance from the five players of the Plymouth City Patriots who played all 40 minutes of action. The Caledonia Gladiators win this game.
Let's take a look at how this week's action has affected the standings with one week to go before the playoffs. Cheshire Phoenix have all but confirmed that second position points difference is the only differentiation between them and Caledonia, but it's a huge points difference, so a lot would have to change. Cheshire need to make sure they win the games, as do Caledonia. The City Patriots rooted to the bottom of the table. And now here's your chance to see the top 10 plays of the week. Enjoy. Austin. Drops it off to Defoe, who gets up for the throwdown. Wow! 38 years young and still running the floor and dunking it. Lobbed up to Jameson, who jams it in. Wow! Easy as they come. Fake in the screen action. Nichols has a one-on-one -on -one with Shaguar here. Trying to find some room, then nice cut back door there. And that's warm and welcome in Sheffield. Jalen Pipkins back in form. Reversal. Nice pass. Oh, oh what a block. my gosh. Incredible. And London turning defence into offence as Morgan lays it up and in. We thought Wiley's blocks were good. That is awesome by Sandy. Johnson driving in, bump foul. Oh, what a finish! Katie Johnson flexes the muscles. A tremendous finish. Follow and jammed in. There's Johnson again. A word or two for the Eagles defenders. Jalen Pipkins attacking the baseline. Take off. Come on. Cop that one back and put an exclamation mark on it. That one's passed straight to. Lewis. Oh, volleyball spike from Johnson chasing it back. Katie Johnson. For the, oh my goodness, out of nowhere, Cam Copeland coming up with one of the plays of the week, sticking one on Oscar Baldwin. Oh, there you go. They've got lots of motivation. Just trying to get something going. Oh, oh my we got goodness! Three quarter court heave. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's got them on their feet here. And here's Jacob from just inside the halfway line on the third quarter buzzer. What a way to end the period. And that is unbeatable basketball. We'll be back with more unbeatable action in our final week before the playoffs next time. We'll see you then.